Drew Butel and Jonathan Paris are 10-year-old kids that share a passion for wheelchair basketball. I love all of it. I'm, and one of my favorites, though, is going fast. I love to have speed, and I'm very competitive. It means a ton to me. I love playing. I love making friends on the court. We all have a blast. It's really important to me because um, I get to um, come here every weekend, and some people don't get to come here every weekend. Their ability to compete in a sport means a lot to their dads. Drew, at 15 months old, received, got transverse myelitis, which is inflammation of the spinal cord. He realizes now that just because he has a disability from his waist down, it's not going to hold him back. He can p play competitive sports, any of them, just like anybody else can. He just needs his assisted tools. Just like football needs a helmet and shoulder pads and baseball needs a bat, the wheelchair is his assisted device that he needs to play this sport. We found out when he was, uh, before he was born, that he was going to have a disability, that he has spina bifida. And, uh, you know, the doctors, they always tell you the worst. You know, they're going to say, oh, he might not be able to walk and this and that. And, you know, it's a parent that's hard to hear. So it, it's just good to, to see him out here and, and just being one of the kids. What some people don't realize about wheelchair basketball is that some of the athletes, like both Drew and Jonathan, actually walk on their own but simply don't have enough mobility to run up and down the court. So they use the wheelchairs to play competitive basketball. It's really weird when I compare it when I'm out and into my chair. It's a whole different perspective. I like being in the wheelchair because I can go fast unlike I can out of my wheelchair. I am one pr proud father, absolutely. He, uh, to, to watch him from where he was at five years old uh, and, and not necessarily knowing what was uh, in his future. And in basketball, not necessarily knowing what offense and defense was, he would kind of go out onto the court and go back and forth to now be a, a leader on the team. Veronica Urban coaches both boys and was a wheelchair basketball player and then decided to teach others the game she loves. It's just like stand up basketball, except you use a lot more upper body strength and you acquire a lot more chair skills in place of where you would normally use your feet. I would like people to realize that this is a sport and it requires a lot of commitment as any other sport would. And it's all about building your fundamental skills and your teamwork. A lot of kids come to the sport not just for the physical activity, but so that they can get that camaraderie and get that teamwork. According to the National Wheelchair Basketball Association, there are about 2,700 athletes involved in the sport, starting with the youth groups on to college and then the adult divisions. The sport is also part of the Paralympics. For Coach Urban, wheelchair basketball has become a life sport, and it's something that she hopes to pass on to her athletes. So how long do you think you want to play this sport? Um, probably for um, the rest of my life. Jonathan and Drew play for the Synergy Junior Bulls, which is part of Synergy Adaptive Athletics. The team practices every Saturday and tournament play kicks off in December. It's at these tournaments where the teammates bond together. The friendships they form and the fun they have off the court on tournaments. Um, they'll be between games of a tournament and they can't stop talking about what they want to do at night when they get back to the hotel. You know, what movies they're going to watch, what, the, what they're going to play as a game or go swimming in the pool or whatever. Uh, and that's the thing they look forward to the most. At least I know what Jonathan does. Two boys learning about teamwork and competing in a sport they love. For NCTV 17 Sports, I'm Common and Chev.